Hello and welcome back to a playthrough of Fallout 1. We're here in the hub. I have heard that there is some Radax or Radaway that we can use to go down to the Glow. And that's kind of next uh, on our to-do list is to actually go down to the Glow to prove we've been there and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get into the Brotherhood. Uh, can we open this door? Um, I've heard in that one of these rooms over here, we, we can actually... Uh, can I can I not get through this door? This is really annoying. Okay. So if I can click on this door. Uh, Ian, will you get out of the way, buddy? <laughs> Ian, get out of the way. Okay. Um, oh, God. Okay, we've opened the door. We've finally managed to open the door. Uh, we may actually be able to sneak over here. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to do this a little bit better. So let's go to skill... Let's see if this is going to work. We don't have a very good sneak skill, actually. Let's see if we can sneakily open this door. Uh, the door is locked. Let's see if we can sneakily uh, unlock the door. Uh, let's lockpick this. We've got good lockpicking skill. And, uh, okay, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Um, okay, let's take these guys out. He's attacking us. Let's take him out. Hit for 24. And hit for another 19. Beautiful. Uh, let's move forward. Who else is attacking us here? Uh, oh my god. Ian. Uh, this guy's attacking us well. People are getting up off the floor. Uh, looks like they're all, they're all attacking us. Uh, that's okay. I'm going to stand on the, the pulpit over here. Oops, I didn't want to run that far. Okay, so let's take out uh, this guy first. Hit for 23. Thorndike was hit for 23, and uh, that's the end of our turn here. Actually, we're out of ammo. Um, Ian has just used the, the burst shot again with that submachine gun, which is pretty amazing. Hit for 84 hit points. Uh, we need to reload this. Uh, let's take out uh, the bodyguard first. Bodyguard was hit for 16, and we need four action points. We're going to get a little bit closer and uh, take him out in the next round. I was hit for 11, but we've got plenty of hit points left. Bodyguard was hit for 16. Now we do get another shot as well. Hit for 17. This bodyguard is pretty tough, actually. Uh, let's get a little bit closer. I don't think these guys are, are attacking us. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Hit for 18 points and was killed. Um, can we end combat now? Hopefully we can. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so let's... See what these guys had on them. Uh, he's got some... Ah, uh, this leather armor, isn't it? We don't want that. Uh, let's see what the, this bodyguard down here had on him. Anything interesting? Uh, let's have a look. Nope, nothing interesting. Just the regular... Just the regular... I think it's a Magnum as well. And uh, Thorndike. Let's see if Thorndike had anything good on him as well. He had actually uh, nothing on him. Did we, did we end up unlocking this? Let's have a look. Uh, the door is still locked. Uh, we do have something to help us out here. We do have the lockpicks here uh, that we can use. Let's use these. Uh, okay, hang on. Uh, let's use the lockpicks. There we go. Um, done. Let's use the lockpicks on this door and see if we can open it and get through to the goodies beyond. <coughs> um, why did I lockpick the wall? Come on, Hawkeye, you can do better than that. Ah, oh, God. I've got to get out of this. I've got to actually see the door first. There we go. Okay, so I can see the door now. Uh, let's see if I can, I can lockpick it. That does nothing. Is the door unlocked already? Oh, so, so difficult to see. Um... What can I do for you, Hawkeye? Nothing. Just please get out of my way. Uh, can we open the door? Is it locked? Okay, the door is locked. Okay, well, I'm, I'm trying to unlock it uh, with these, these lock picks here. If I can click on the right thing, that does nothing. Okay, let's... Let's... Ugh, let's forget these lock picks. Uh, let's use the lock pick skill and uh, see if that will work. You unlock the door. Beautiful. Okay, we're through. We are through. Uh, I need to unlock the door as well. There we go. We've opened the door. And let's have a look on this bookshelf and see what we can find. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, we've got the uh, the Rad Away or the Rad X or something like that. Uh, we've got the Mentats. We have 
uh, a robe. We may be able to sneakily use the robe. Uh, we've got the rad away or something, or rad X. Could be getting those confused. I'm not sure. Uh, we've got super... Is that the super stim pack? What's this? Super stim pack. Psycho. Oh, they, they're loaded. These guys are actually absolutely loaded. Let's grab all this stuff. Beautiful. Uh, guide your counter. We've got stim packs. Grab all of those. We've got tons of stim packs now, which is great. Uh, we've got the, the bullets for the 223. Um, that's actually what we're using. So, can I grab all of those? Can I pick that up? Can I pick up uh, one of those? Can I pick that? Oh, I can pick up one of those. Can I pick up another one? Done. Okay. That'll do. We've got another 100 bullets here, uh, which is fantastic. Um, so, we have the Rad X, we have the Rad Away. Uh, let's actually have a look and see what this, is, this stuff is. Uh, we've got Rad Away. Um, I think that's once you get uh, radiated, you use this, and um, the Rad X is down here somewhere. I think before you get radiated, you take one of these pills, and it lasts like a few hours or a day or something like that, um, and you'll be able to go into the radiated areas. So hopefully that will be okay. Uh, let's just take away these things here for now. Done. Uh, we want to head out of this place if we can. Uh, we're going to have to head back up. Uh, we're going to have to head back up here, and uh, we're going to walk down to the glow, and hopefully <coughs> it's not going to be too difficult finding uh, what we need to prove to the Brotherhood that we are worthy of joining uh, their gang, or their group, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, so let's start running up here now. We've got some pretty good armor. We've got the combat armor, which is the same as the cops uh, in this city. And uh, if we head over... Okay, we're going to have to head up. Uh, to the to the north again, and hopefully get out of this out of this hub. The hub is pretty big, so let's just head out uh, past the caravans once more, and uh, we'll get on our journey. Here we go, beautiful. Okay, cool. So we are on our way. Hopefully, we're not going to have any problems getting down here uh, to the glow. I may actually want to stop before we get there because it is a long way down. It looks like a long journey, so I'll save the game uh, just before we get down there. Uh, so let's actually head just right. Whoop. Oh my god, we've, we've come across a, a large number of raiders. Uh, hopefully we'll be we able to take them out fairly quickly. 19 hit points, out of ammo. Uh, let's reload. Just gonna move step back a little bit here, and uh, see what Ian does. Might be worthwhile taking out my flamer just to get rid of these guys. Um, if these guys both shoot me, I might take out. Could take out a. Um... Oh god! All right, what I'm gonna do here? Oh good god, Ian! Ugh, there's so many of them. Uh, we're going to take out some some grenades here. I'm going to step step back. This should hopefully take out both of these guys. There we go. Beautiful. Fantastic. That was a, a good use of a grenade, I think. There's still four of them left. Oh no, Ian has been killed. Ian has been killed. Ian, I'm sorry to see you go, buddy. There we go. We took them both out. Ian's been killed, and uh, I'm not going to reload, because that's the way the game goes. Uh, let's move to my 22-223 here, whatever you want to call it. <coughs> and they're running as well. Ian, well, it was nice knowing you, Ian. You worked well while you were here. Um, can I get out of combat? Not yet. This guy's going to spend ages running, isn't he? I wonder if I can take him out. I wonder what his, uh, his, his armor points are. There we go. All right, we got him. Um, moment of silence for Ian. He was a good workhorse. He carried a lot of our stuff. Um, he's got... Oh my god. Well, we're going to lose all of this stuff now. We're going to lose all of this stuff. 
Can I take a submachine gun with me, please? I can't even pick that up. He's got three submachine guns um, sitting on him. Tons of bullets. I can't take them with me. Oh, I really want to, though. Is there anything I can leave behind? No, we're just going to have to leave it behind. There's nothing we can do. Uh, these guys got any caps with them. They've just got regular, regular guns. Oh, such a shame. Take all of that. Uh, what is this? Small energy cell. I don't use uh, energy weapons. Uh, such, such a shame. Let's just check the, just check these two guys over here. See if they have any caps. Ian, you'll be sadly missed, and uh, we won't be able to exchange um, cargo anymore, loot with each other. So we're going to head down, head down here. Um, I can't believe it. I've lost dog meat. I've lost Ian. I've got no one to work with me anymore, but um, unfortunately those guys are, are fairly weak. Um, who's this dude? Um, you see a man in studded leather armor with an odd assortment of knickknacks. Just uh, greetings, traveler. What brings you out this far? Um, just wondering. I see you, much like myself then. Uh, can you direct me to a nearby settlement? So what's your story? I wander from place to place, making a living with music and a little bit of tinkering, tinkering work. What kind of music do you sing? Oh, mostly old folk songs and some Celtic music. It's a change of pace. I see. What else do you do? I wander from place to place. Okay, what kind of work do you do? Mostly a little electrical and mechanical tinkering. I helped Junktown with their lights and showed the people in Shady Sands a better design for their stoves. Well, see you, buddy. Okay, fair enough. Does he have anything to trade? Uh, can we barter with each other? We can. Uh, he's got nothing. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, I've met the uh, the tinkerer. I'm now journeying on, journeying on my own. It is a little bit lonely without uh, without Ian as a bit of a sidekick. Hopefully, we don't get stopped anywhere here along the way. I'm going to save my game just outside of. Of this area here. Oh, we've got rats. I can't really be bothered taking out these rats. Anyway. Right, we're here for 23. Uh, I'm out of ammo as well. Could throw, in a, throw a grenade and uh, take them all out. Let's take this, take this dude out out there. I tried for this one. I accidentally hit that one over there. Doesn't matter. As long as I killed one of them. And uh, this guy's going to be dead soon too as well. So... I can't believe these rats are attacking me out here. Okay, cool. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get down into the core. I just want to stop right here. Um, we're going to go to the mountains. I'm actually going to save my game here as an adventure save slot. Yes. Done. Now, do I want to take my Red X now or shall I wait? Let's... Let's wait until we get uh, into the core. Um, okay, let's go to the glow. Beautiful. Uh, location, the glow. We are at the crater. You receive, you're, you've received a large dose of radiation. Oh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, let's take... Let's take the rat X. Um, did I did I take the Red X? I think I did. Uh, let's have a look at the character screen. I am radiated at the moment. Oh, that sucks. Shall I take the Red X before we... Let's, let me load this game. Didn't quite know how this worked. Um, okay, I'm going to take the Red X here. Just before we get down into, into the core. Um... Okay, let's do this. Let's take the Red X. Bang, we've taken some Red X. Done. Let's continue on. Uh, let's go into the core, into the glow. I should say it's not the core, is it? It's the glow. Bang, there we go. We're into the crater now. Hopefully we're not going to start taking radiation. Um, it's just a giant hole in the ground. We see a beam. Okay. You cannot climb down the pit using just the metal beam. Uh, that's fine. I guess we need to use uh, a rope. So let's use the rope uh, on the beam. 
here we go and uh, we'll go down into the glow and find out what's down here <coughs> we need something to prove uh, that we have been down here uh, let's have a quick look around and see what we can see we've got looks like some dead bodies uh, I need to get through the door first and uh, have a look at these bodies here uh, there's nothing on that one I guess this was a vault at one stage uh, let's head on out. I wonder if there's any people up here. There's a few chairs up there. Uh, we've got more bodies up here. Let's let's check out these. Or oh, can I get... Uh, how do we get around? Oh, we have to go around that way. Okay. We should be able to get... Can I not get around here? Hmm. How do I actually get... I can't get past. Oh, here we go. We can get past. All right, let's have a look in this door and uh, find out... What is up with this dude? Oh, we got some radex. Beautiful. Beautiful. If I start getting radiated, we got tons of radex. Uh, we've got the remains of a guard. And we have a door here with a couple of lockers as well. Let's have a look and see what's inside. Let's, let's see how much I'm carrying. 161 total weight. I think I can carry 175. Uh, let's open these lockers and see what's inside. Uh, there's nothing in that one. Is there anything in this one? Um, stim pack. I have tons and tons of stim packs uh, at the moment uh, i have 33 stim packs which is absolutely amazing hopefully that's all i'm going to need for the rest of the game we have a, an, an elevator going down so we'll explore the rest of this level uh, before we do go down let's just check out all of these bodies there it looks like there's quite a bit of loot oh here we go beautiful more rad x as well more rad away and rad x so these people are carrying a lot of that stuff uh, one of those. Okay, I think I do need those bullets. I'll just grab one though, because I don't have that much um, that much on me. Let's head up to the north. There was something. Did look like there was something up here. Um, there's one locker here. We're going to check the locker first, and then I'm going to find out who this dude is and see if that uh, that computer's working as well. Uh, so let's open this and uh, see if we can open this locker over here. And uh, we're moving through pretty quickly here. A motion sensor, don't want that. Book of Science, uh, if I can carry that. Uh, cool. We have a Book of Science. I guess I can read this down here. It might take a little while though. Um, should I just hang on to it for now? I'll just hang on to it for now, it's fine. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, open this book. I don't want my rat... Oh shit. I don't want my rat away to, uh, to run out. So I don't want to sit around reading books uh, when I only have a limited time for my rat away. I uh, you see dead corpse. Okay, we've got a hollow disk. Beautiful. And oh, a yellow pass card. Thank you very much. We'll grab that. An electronic security card. Fantastic. Let's just check out the other guys around here. Shotgun. Don't want that. And uh, one of those pistols. And I'm not too worried about that as well. So let's quickly save the game uh, while we're down here. Done. Uh, yes. Whew, beautiful. Shall we check out the computer first? Okay. System. Primary power, secondary power, offline. Power management. Uh, primary power. Reinitialize primary power. Error, error, error. Primary system initialized failed. Uh, diagnose. Uh, failure. Generator level 6. Feed return inoperable. Service needed. Okay, we need to service the primary power on level 6. Emergency power management online. Okay, cool. Okay, so we need to go down to the generator on level 6 if we want to get this uh, this power uh, working. So I guess there's a lot of uh, levels in this uh, this vault, aren't there? Um, okay, let's head down. I do have a hollow disk. I guess we can have a look at that uh, before we continue. Maybe we can find out what is going on down here. Uh, okay, let's have a read of this. Uh, you have gained, you've gone up a level. You see, uh, uh, okay, we gained a level here. Uh, we need to go to our Pip Boy to access that hollow disk. We need to go to Status. Uh, um, hmm. Ancient Brotherhood tape. Here, here we go. Captain Maxon was right. This place is death. I'm writing this so that if we don't make it back, someone someday might find out what happened to us. We made it to the West Tech Research Facility after 20 days of hell, but that was the easy part. The radiation levels began to shoot up as soon as we could see the giant crater. We checked our supplies and figured with our armor and our anti-rad supplies, we'd be fine for at least a day of exploring. We felt it was a calculated risk, but the technology we... 
uh, we had the potential of recovering was worth it. We climbed down the credit to the first level and everything seemed to be according to plan. The power was off so we didn't need to circumvent the security, or so we thought. There wasn't much of value on this level so we pushed on. The second level was more of the same. When Jensen dropped to the third level, all hell broke loose. The security sensors had been burned out on the first two levels, but not on the third. Jensen was cut to ribbons before he knew what had happened. We'd never seen weapons cut through power armor like that. Men started dropping right and left and the ones we were still alive lost it. I tried to regroup but only Sata and Camarillo made it back up here to the first level with me. The fact that I can smell Sato's burning flesh where his arm was taken off means that my power armor is no longer airtight. So I'm sucking up a lot more rads than I had planned on. I'm leaking hydraulics at an alarming rate. We need to get far away from this place before my armor dies. Camarillo seemed fine physically, but he wandered off about an hour ago, mumbling something about Gehenna. That bastard has all the anti-rad. Oh no, that leaves Sato and myself. We can't make it far enough away from here without the anti-rad, so I've got to try to find Camarillo before it's too late. Sergeant D. Allen, United States Armed Forces. Done. Okay, I'm just wondering whether we should turn off the emergency power. Uh, I might leave it on. We may need to use access some computers or something down there, so I will leave on the emergency power. Um, we have level. Oh shoot! We have leveled up as well. Let's have a look at our character screen. Do we get another perk? Oh, we get another perk. Fantastic. Okay, flower child. With this perk, you are much less likely to crave chems. Um, no, faster healing. Okay, healing faster. Explorer. Um, greater chance of finding special places or people. Empathy. Educated. Uh, we get new experience points, earlier sequence, uh, no dodger, less likely to be hit in combat would be really handy, plus 5% to your armor class, bonus rate of fire, um, this perk allows you to pull the trigger a little more faster and still remain as accurate as before, each range weapon attack costs 1 AP less to perform, that could be really handy, bonus move, two free APs each turn that can only be used for movement. In other words, you can move two free hexes each turn for each level of this perk. That is really handy as well. Damage attack, uh, damage hand-to-hand -hand attack. Okay, I think I might go for the bonus move. <coughs> Let's do that. Let's go for the bonus two moves, which is really cool. We get some skill points here as well. Uh, we're going to go for big guns, I think. Uh, we may want to go for repair. Oh, big guns are still really low here. We want to go throw because we do use, um, let's go throw 50, uh, big guns 50. We, we do use the flamer a little bit and the rocket launcher a little bit as well. Um, repair, we may need to use repair. So let's go to, uh, to 44, 45 for repair. Beautiful, we're done. Uh, we're leveled up now. We are level, uh, level nine, fantastic. So let's head down the elevator uh, to the next level down and uh, see what we can find. You get a mild shock from the electric field on the door and take a point of damage. Oh, damn it. Do we need to use our... Do we need to use our pass card, our yellow pass card here? Uh, should we try and use this? Done. Authorization granted. Now disarming electric field. Beautiful. Okay, so we can head down. Um, you see nothing out of the ordinary. Let's, let's walk into the, uh, the elevator here. Uh, they said level 2 had nothing down here, so let's just have a quick look. Um, oh, there's some robots that have been destroyed. Uh, there's some more people around here as well. Okay, should we check out this computer and see if we can find out what's going on? Primary power, offline, secondary power. Um, okay, we need, to get, we need to get to the... Um, I know, we need to get down to level 6. What is this, actually? the computer okay let's just have a quick look at these guys these robots and see if they have anything worthwhile on them let's quickly open this and uh, then we'll head down to level three what is this a sentry robot um sentry robot oh shoot those oh those weapons okay looks like we can't oh there's bombs everywhere there are bombs everywhere down here uh let's have a quick look in these lockers but the guy said that there was nothing down here, so I'm inclined to probably agree with him. But we do want to check. I want those grenades. I do use grenades fairly often when I'm in the heat of battle. Oh, we've got explosive rockets as well. I definitely want these rockets if I can take them, if I can fit them. Uh, I cannot pick them up. Can I pick up one rocket? 
Um, okay, I've got one rocket. Is there anything I can drop? I've got a lot of ammo here. I've got two rockets. Uh, hmm. What kind of ammo is this? 14mm AP. Okay, we'll just, we'll just take one rocket with us. I hope I'm not going to regret that, but we can buy some more. There's, there's plenty of places, places uh, where we can buy those rockets. Uh, there's a ho This hole goes a long way down, doesn't it? Let's see if we can run past all the way down. Now, open this door. We're going to have to search these bodies, I think, just in case there's something we need. There could be a, another key card somewhere. Can I grab another grenade? We've probably got enough grenades now, so I might just leave leave them. Oh, we need one of these grenades for sure. Uh, these grenades are actually much better. Uh, so let's put uh, three of those away, and we're going to grab this one instead. Okay, beautiful. That's a good, good, good exchange there. What is this? Plastic explosives? A dynamite? Oh, good God. Hmm, I may drop... Let's drop this gun. Can I take the explosives? Okay. I'll take the dynamite with me. Uh, which room do we want to get into? Looks like that's empty. It looks like there is one guy here. Looks like this is empty. Okay, we'll just head over into this room uh, just over here <coughs> and see if there's any... See if there's anything on this guy up here. We found some grenades and some explosives, so I guess it's worth it. Aha! I knew, I knew it might be worth it coming up here. We found the red key card now. Fantastic. Okay, well that was worth coming up here. We probably probably needed to to visit the second second level here. So we're gonna head back and uh, go down to the uh, the elevator. Go down to level three. Looks like there's six levels down here, so it could be a an interesting. Interesting travel down here. Interesting journey, getting all the way down to the bottom of the glow. And uh, the Brotherhood better be happy about this. I've, I've risked my life. I've risked life and limb to get down here. Oh, God. Uh, do I use the, the yellow one for this one? Okay, yeah, we use the yellow key card again. I forgot about that. Uh, let's head on down. Uh, we're going to go down to level 3 now and uh, see what we can find. More dead robots, another computer. Uh, okay, we've got uh, lockers. Uh, there's another elevator over there. A few bookshelves as well. Let's see if there's anything different on this computer. Probably not. Um, okay, it's just the same. Let's save the game before we go any further. Just because I'm worried about the explosive which have been placed uh, all around the place. Done. Okay, I can't... Can I search these guys? No, I can't. Okay. Let's just head on through. Let's see if there's anything around here. Let's head up to this door over here. And... Where do we want to go? Mm, there's nothing in there that I can see. It looks pretty empty. There's some lockers. So let's head over to the locker room first. <coughs> and then we'll head down to, to level 4 and uh, see what we can find. Okay, let's go to this locker room. A couple of lockers here that we can open. Um, do I have any space? 174, I don't have any space on me, so I'm gonna have to remove, get rid of some ammo or something. Uh, okay, there's just ammo in there anyway. Let's have a look, what's in this one? Uh, we've got small energy cells, five millimeter AP. Okay, don't use all of that stuff. So it's just more ammo again. Must be some kind of armory, I think, in here. And uh, let's have a look and see what's what's in this one. And we have... Um, I may be able to carry these with me, some Mentos. I don't actually use Mentos at all. I'm kind of fairly intelligent anyway. Um, so I don't really use them. Stim packs. I want to grab all of these in case I come across a... In case there's a really big battle. Uh, I've got 55 HP. Let's actually use uh, first aid on myself. Uh, restore three hit points. You've received a large dose of radiation? No. Okay. Um, okay, okay. Let's go for... Down to level three. Okay, I've got two of these left. Let's use another one of these. And let's use... Uh, let's use one of these. You see right away. Okay, hopefully that's, that's helped. Um, I'm still radiated. Okay, hopefully that's not going to cause me to suffer 
uh, too badly. Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to get down. And, oh, that's going to cause a problem, isn't it? I'm going to need the, the red card, I think. Okay, let's find the, the red card and unlock this. Unlock this elevator here. Bang, done, beautiful. And let's use the red card over here. We need to actually move quickly down here um, because my right away is going to, to run out if I don't actually go quickly. So let's go to level four. Just two more levels to, to have a look at. What have we got over here? What is this? Suspension tanks over there. We've got more robots. Uh, luckily, the robots are all kind of... Uh, they've been destroyed. There's uh, another elevator over there. Um, let's quickly have a look in the locker room. Is there... A, what the heck is this? Uh, there's a big computer there. We need to get down to the generator on level 6. <coughs> I guess we can check out the computer as well. Let's have a quick look and see if there's anything in these locker rooms over here. Holy moly. Dean's Electronics. Radex. Beautiful. Thank you. Right away. Thank you. Dean's Electronics. I'm at my max capacity. Uh, let's just remove one of those. And let's, oh, let's bring the book with us. So we might be able to learn something. Uh, let's have a look here as well. Okay, grenades and ammo. And what is in this one? Okay, I can't take either of those. Armor piercing and explosive rockets. I cannot take either of those. Uh, let's go and have a look at this uh, this computer and see if we can uh, get any information on it. Uh, there's one dead dude down here. Uh, he may have a, a key card on him. You see an extremely advanced computer. How am I be of assistance? Oh wow, who or what are you? Tell me about this installation. Want to play a game of chess? Grant me access to the mainframe. Uh, tell me about this installation. West Tech Research Facility, founded in 2002 as a private contractor for the United States government, the company initially consisted of two divisions, the Advanced Weapons, uh, hang on, the Advanced Weapons Research and the Biomedical Sciences Divisions. In 2069, West Tech was the single largest contractor for the United States government, its largest contract being powered infantry armor model T-51B. In light of significant advances in 2076 by the NBC on the Pan-Immunity Varian Project, the United States Defense Department, in fear of international espionage, moved a team onto the site to secure and oversee the project now dubbed the FEV, Forced Evolutionary, Evolutionary Virus Project. They may have started the mutations. Uh, can you tell me particulars about specific areas? My sensors are currently non-functional in the surface facility and on the subterranean levels 1 through 3. I can, however, provide descriptions of levels 4 through 6. Well, we're on level 4 now. Let's have a look at level 6. Level 6, barracks and central operations contains living facilities for lab personnel and guard contingents and operations meeting room. Tell me about level 5. Level 5, Secure Testing Labs. This level contains a lab for experimental prototype testing and a research lab for classified subjects. These subjects provide some of the necessary impetus for the development of FEV. Level 4, Research Facility. This level contains testing areas and laboratories for experiments in biology and physics. Um, back up a bit. Tell me, um, tell me about this installation. How does the virus work? My research into the forced evolution virus or FEV indicates that is, it is a shifting absorb absorbed the virus. It copies DNA patterns much like RNA, storing these patterns in exons. Okay. How do you catch FEV? FEV is not caught per se, it is not air transmittable. Typically infection is through injection or direct physical contact with an FEV sample. Why isn't FEV affected by radiation? The FEV is a megavirus with a protein sheath reinforced by ionized hydrogen. It is therefore capable of absorbing neutrons without becoming radioactive. Can we talk about something else, please? This is going way over my head. Grant me access to the mainframe. Access denied. Terminating input. Done. Okay. Um, I was denied access to the mainframe. Um, so the virus cannot be destroyed by radiation. So that's uh, interesting. Let's see if this guy has anything on him. Ah, oh, hi, he's got a key card. Beautiful. Done. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's use, um, let's go to this, uh, this elevator over here. Let's go to our inventory. I guess we're going to have to use the next key card down here. We're going to use this one. Hopefully we'll get all the way down. Is this a key card? 
A blue pass card. Yeah, let's use the blue pass card. And uh, hopefully we can get down to uh, where we need to go. The elevator is inoperable. inoperable. It seems to need more power than emergency power can handle. Okay, we're going to have to go down, I think, level 6. We can still get down to level 6 with this elevator over here. Um, okay, let's oh, let's run through here. Let's see if we can get to level 6 and get the generator happening, get the generator working. working. Uh, let's grab the... Uh, it's the red pass card, wasn't it? Let's grab the red pass card, put it down here. Uh, use the red pass card on this elevator. And uh, we're going to head down. I think we can head down to level 6. Here we go. So we can head down this elevator to level 6. Uh, see if we can find the generator. There is another elevator over here. Uh, big empty spaces uh, once more. Uh, lots of dead dudes around. I've got to see if they've got anything on them. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay, there it is over there. It is over there. That's the generator over there. Uh, let's see if we can actually get that working. Uh, can I carry a stim pack? Yes, I can. Uh, let's get out of here. See if anyone else has uh, any cards on them. Uh, he's got nothing. Uh, this guy's just got a gun. All right, let's get out of here. I want to get down to that computer. See if I can get the generator working. See if I can get the power working. That'd be fantastic. Uh, let's have a look at this dude. Do I need more right away? Probably not. What the hell is this? A plasma pistol. Shoots a small bolt of superheated plasma. Powered energy cell. Uh, I'll take it if I can. Uh, I'm currently full at the moment. I might just remove a, one of these. Nope. Um, what can I get rid of here? There's not a lot that I, I can actually get rid of. 14mm AP, do I need that? Let's remove that ammo. Can I, can I pick it up now? Nope, still can't pick it up. Unfortunately, my character can't carry a lot of stuff, uh, which is a bit of a shame. I might just leave it behind, actually. Maybe we'll just remove two of these. 60 bullets, and we'll take the plasma pistol if we can. There we go. Okay, we've got the plasma pistol, so I can check that out later. Uh, that's fine. There is someone down here as well before we uh, we go and check out that computer. There's a charred body down here with just some ammo. That's fine. Let's head on over here. I guess um, the holodisc will be useful in, in showing the Brotherhood. That may be the, the evidence that I need to show that I have actually been down here. Let's see if I can hack into this computer. Uh, okay, power management, uh, primary power, uh, offline, reinitialize, uh, diagnose, generator level 6, inoperable. Okay, let's exit out of here. Uh, is this the generator? You see a generator. These generators seem to be offline. You wonder if you can start them back up. Well, I hope so. I hope I can get this power working. Let's go here to uh, repair. Repair is 45. It's not that good. You fail to start up the generators. Can I repair this? I wonder what my repair skill needs to be. Uh, I'm not really sure. Yes, you start up the generators and all systems seem to be coming back online. Fantastic. Hopefully we'll get the lights online here as well. You gain 1,000 experience points. Fantastic. Okay, so let's have a look and see if we can get the power up. Uh, power management, uh, primary power, reinitialize. Yes, we've done it. We have done it. Fantastic. We, we've come down into the glow. We've um, got the power working down here. We found a plasma pistol. Um, so I think we just need to explore one more elevator over here. And uh, we're going to do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you all again soon for the next episode of Fallout.